so you've been playing a few a few games a few. um several games several, uh yeah. one one we're game on two. <laughs> we're gonna focus on. one game was actually kind of announced at the xbox event back in june and when we saw it we're like oh shit that actually looks kind of cool and that i think that was jusant was actually announced at that, Jusant was announced at that event and it's a climbing game it is climbing games are in style uh, yeah, but the difference about this one is that this is actually a climbing game and not like climbing adjacent. It's not like it's not like Celeste or something like that. And it's not like uh, what was that really popular meme one that all the streamers are playing? Uh, uh, only up, only up. Only I think it was. Um, this one's actually like a climbing game. There's actually like uh. uh there, there's 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 mechanics going okay. on here so um just to get it out there first and foremost this is kind of more of a meditative game than anything uh, okay. you're not you're you're not gonna die um and you, there's no like combat or anything uh this is get to the top and it's also environmental storytelling okay. uh clearly you're climbing this mountainous region mm -hmm. um but also something's clearly happened hmm. um you can look around and see dilapidation around you there used to be a civilization here what 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 was here unclear um and hmm. so you just you're just going up you're just climbing and you learn about it along the way uh sometimes you'll just see stuff in the environment sometimes you'll find seashells that you can put up to your ear and you can hear the echoes of the past kind of thing and you can echoes of the past. yeah and you find like you know journal pages and things like that so uh yeah it's kind of a super super chill game it uh the the climbing is very very satisfying it's like you, you each trigger controls a different hand okay so it's that thing where it's like you grab something and then you can pull yourself up and you grab something and you pull yourself up and you're doing that you could see that little mount is on it sort the... of like a physics based climber uh, kind of thing, it, it's it not really bit of that... it, not okay. really it's really forgiving as to what you're doing i mean okay. you have a stamina meter Got it. um if you see where he's putting his um pike into like that little uh box that's on yeah. some of the walls that's where you're mounting your line initially you kind of got oh, infinite okay. rope sure so that's so you're never gonna fall further than where you've uh, oh really placed okay that. and you get three sort of handheld pikes that you can sort of stab mm. in the wall to get yourself a new handhold in case you're having problems going around and stuff so you can kind of free free climb to an extent um but it's pretty straightforward. You have a little blobby uh, buddy that you can kind of call on once in a while. And he does stuff like this where he makes like vines grow or flowers me, bloom. I'm your blobby and, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah you, you can swing from use okay. the rope and wall running. And is it is it like pretty that. straightforward it, for the controls? It, it is very straightforward. The tutorial okay. also does a really good job. Oh, okay, good. That's yeah. Given it. Yeah. And, and like I said, it's it's very low impact. You never really feel anytime you set yourself back, it was your own fault almost every time. Like you didn't you didn't anchor yourself right or something. So like but you never lose that much. Sure. Um uh progress uh and, and, and yeah it's really just sort of a reflex ref, reflective kind of game there's no talking like if yeah. there is talking it's so minimal that i it never even entered my consciousness kind of thing uh, so it's it looks like the it it's looks like a better climbing mechanic than like uncharted oh yeah a little bit of journey yeah, yeah. oh it's 100 percent inspired by journey you can okay. tell this game is 100% vertical journey. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, but without the multiplayer thing. So, um, so yeah, the, the story is, is, is told sort of in silence. Okay. Um, it's, it's neat. I like this kind of game. Uh, it's definitely not like stuff. Don't nod has put out before. Uh, it's not like um, the, the, 
What what's their what's the franchise? The Life is Strange. Uh, Life is Strange. Yeah, it's definitely nothing like those. Okay. And I think there's a couple of other games that it could vaguely kind of be like, but sure. like I don't know. This this is definitely one of those games where it's like you could definitely tell it's a French game. Mm -hmm. Uh and you could definitely tell it was just designed to be chill. A cool. reflective piece. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I, I I enjoyed it. I played most of it on my uh, Raj Ally uh, because it just. I find it funny you call it the Raj Ally. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's Raj Rogue, whatever. It's whatever. the the Asus Ally, but, the Asus the Portable, ally. Portable. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. So um, sweet. It worked really well on that. Uh, it worked really well on everything. That I think it's on Game Pass right now. So if you want okay. to play it, you can download it and play it right now. I would nice. recommend it. I didn't have any problems with it. Uh, uh, okay. I, I, I saw a lot of reviews saying it was buggy too, but I never really experienced any bugs. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Uh, also, Jusant, it even tells you at the beginning when you start the game up what that means. And it's like uh, it's like a, an ebbing tide kind of thing. Like it's like, so yeah. So yeah, that's a good one. I liked I liked that one a lot. I, it's definitely a thumbs up on my end. 